right down to it. That's all about it. We're not in gear. Pull that down, and now we're in gear. Yep. That's going around. That's going down. Very slowly. Yep. Fourth out of the turn. Oh, so there your feed's directly above there. There the feed's for yep. this. You can see it going down now. Yep. So this is a monitor. Sorry. Okay. That's a monitor to see how far you're going. Yep. You can, but you can see here yes. what you're doing. See? Yeah. Take it out. You want to go up? You can do that while I'm saying it. Yeah. Uh, it won't go up because the thing's not running. Yeah, it's all right. That's got it. Now it's going the other way. Yep. And in here... is your fine tolerance setting. So that when you when you hook up there's a, a lead that you hook up to it and this becomes powered. Um, you can adjust have you got this lead? Yeah to you. Yeah. Um, you can adjust it finely with this here. Okay. Really finely or engage that there and turning that will give you tenths of a tenth of a thou, thousandths of a thou. Well, in the literature it says it's accurate it's within four arc seconds. Yes. Which is pretty bloody amazing. I didn't it know is. what an arc second was. It's 1.290 yeah. million. Yep. That's a bloody lot. It is. Well, that other box I showed you was tenths of a... tenths of a... tenths of a hundredth of a thou. So it's a millionth of a thousand. That remember that box yes, I showed you? Yes. Yeah. Um, that was for vertical movement, was it? Was it a a, a sensor that? Uh, no, it measures things that you're making. Me so okay. If, you know, if you're making right. something, you, you put measure, it in there measure and you measure it. Yeah. Yeah. This is just a lock to to lock the table off. Right. So. Um. Now. We want to go up, we want to go down, we turn it right on. Down. Yep. Up. Now we're going sideways. Yep. Two speeds. Back the other way. Yep. Uh, we saw that. Now this is just a hand wheel. We're going whichever way you want to go. That's a lock. That's yeah. locking vertical, is it, Liz? That's locking it from going up that way, yeah. Okay. Uh, if you're doing boring with tapping, you are, it, it has a sensor. And that light comes on, and then when it's boring or tapping, it'll tell you how deep it is. Hit and come back up automatically. So, okay. 
the um, screen here. It's obviously it's got a it's got a light in it. on it. Yeah. See. Yeah. You can see the line. See the line. And what happens is when you set it, yeah. you bring that. That's like that. That thing. Yeah. And you bring it onto that, and then that's your setting for getting a distance. Okay. Same applies here. This one here. It's too light in here to see, but not there. No, I can't really see it. Okay. Uh, to, if if it's going and there's a balls up, you just press that button. Yeah. Now you've got to go over there and turn it on again. <laughs> So you've also got feeds yeah. this way as well. Uh, can you turn that on, Ben? <coughs> You'll be amazed at this, mate. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, that's why you couldn't see, because that's not on. Um, screens. There's a light there. there. Yeah, there's a light there near. Yeah. yeah. And you get your um should be a light coming in somewhere there. Oh that's got a fluoro tube at the back. Oh yep. So that's oh, that, on. That gives you a work light. Yeah. Basically. Okay. Yeah, and if you're indexing, day night light, screens and coolant. We won't turn the coolant on because it stinks because it's been um untouched for so long. Um, now before I do anything else, I'll just give it a squirt of lubrication. Which is down the back here. Those three handles? Yep, you just press them. Now these these um, rusty panels on top are just uh, chip guards. Yep, that's there, all. Something. Yep. So underneath there will be a finely scraped surface. Yeah, but you don't need to even touch. And, and don't take those things off because they're spring loaded up here, and you'll never get the mongrels back on again. <laughs> spring loaded. Yeah, they're, they're to keep them taut. You see. Okay. Otherwise they will. Okay. Be a problem. Now, that's the table hydraulics, it's hydraulically driven. Just let it run for a second, get any air out of it. Now we're going to go, yeah, you can close that, we're going to go this way. It's got air out. We just have to let it. There we go. So, you, depending on where you have this handle, depending on how fast it goes. Oh, so the handle rotates that way as well. This way. Oh, okay. Yeah, you just push it down. Yep. So, so the further, further you, you push, push it, it down, the faster it goes. See it picking up speed. Sure. Yeah. Picking up speed. Yep. And then reverse it's just the other way. The other way. Okay. Have it going as slow as you like. When I first started to use it, I thought the bloody thing's not going, but because it was going so slow, I had to yeah. look at it here. Then, if you want to hand set it, you can wherever you want it to be. So, what, what, what then? What part is this playing? That this is recording where it is. Yeah, it's it's if you want a really fine setting. Yes. You set it on the thing on the scales here. And then you adjust it to zero or whatever it is that you want, plus 10 thou, bring it back to zero. This should have a thing inside there which I can't see. I don't know why. Could be a bulb. Might be as simple as that, yeah, but there's a light there. But it should be the same as we have up here, yeah. with the, the thing in the middle. Yep. And then you just set that the the cursor will be out of sight and you set this on zero to where you want it to be and then when the cursor comes up into there that's your datum 
and then from there on in you use your top scale. So it's a tricky thing to use and what I was going to do eventually was leave all that on there but put digitals on it. Much mm -hmm. easier to use. Yeah. Mm. So if anybody buys it, encourage them to put digitals on. Mind you, that, that one up there is really clear. Oh, it is, yeah. So I don't know why this one. Is. That one? But do we need to put a light on for that? Yep. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah, if you're in a workshop, I imagine. In a dark workshop, see, you won't be able to see that. Yeah. Yeah. You can see, yeah, yeah. You, you can see yeah. that. Like a bit of yeah. 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 Well, and when as you, as you move this guy, okay. so you can move that along. Oh, yeah. right. So your graduation's behind that. Yes. Okay. It's, okay. Yeah. yeah. So that's about it. The basis is of it. This is the, the on off and the lock for the table. Okay. So when the table's off. not being hydraulically driven yes. and you but you want to lock it to do something you lock it on that that's locked yeah. so then um that's obviously coolant yes so run that yeah and your lights up there yeah. and your view light what's uh, this aperture for here uh if you look on my youtube um uh, it says i say this is a a, a jiggler and I've had this machine 12 years and we still haven't worked out what, what the jiggler do does. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, mate. It's and able to be turned. Okay. But what it actually does, I have no idea. Okay. Just leave it closed. And there's a gauge at the top there. Oh, that's your amperage draw for your... Um, what, what your machine's drawing when okay. it's going. In fact, if I turn that on... <laughs> Lovely. You can set this to where you want. Yeah. Um, up and down. Yeah. And that's your yep. dial indicator there. Needs a squirt of oil. And this is for your feeds and feeds and speeds. So if you want 20, 30 foot per minute uh, and the diameter is whatever that diameter is, you move this up and down oh, and, tells you what and tells you how many RPMs you want and what levers they are, eight, right. four and two. Okay, so you've got three there. Yeah, and these two here are only for feed control. Yeah, you just put it in. Yeah. So you've got... Um, well, done. Tenths are three, three, four, one and a half, ten, fourteen, and six. Yep. So it's quite a range. It's a big range. And it works on both ways so that when you engage it, on, engage, it goes the other way. So when when uh, you went into reverse there, mm. it took a while for it to actually, it's taking up the backlash, is it? No, no, no. no. I, you, there's gears, and if they're not totally lined up, it might okay. not engage properly. So okay. you've got to fiddle around with it. Okay. Now in um, you can use this hand wheel for very fine feet if you wanted to, yeah, you know. Yeah. Right. And there's a reverse button there. Oops. Oh that's cool. Reverse button there. Yeah. That's for the that yes. guy. And then you've got two buttons here. Yeah, therefore, if you're over the other side, starting the same way here. Yeah, okay. that's a duplicate okay. of that, so that if you're over there working, you, can you, can, do, you don't have to run there. Yeah, you can stop it. Now, is that a motor at the back there, Liz? At the top? Yep. Yep. So that it's got eight motors on it. <laughs> so that's doing the high-low business, raise yeah. and lower. That's it. And that'll be linked to the to the other side. Yeah, that, the well, the, there's a big arm that runs across there. Yep. That um, feeds all the gears, you know. And they, up through the top, they're all... Yep. Yep, these all go around and the whole thing goes up and down. Yep. If you want to lock it, you can lock it. You can lock it off. OK. 
Okay. Beautiful thing, isn't it? There it is. Yeah, it's definitely a bit of an era, but it's like so far ahead of.